Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, November 23rd. Today is Friday, August 21st. I'm your host with the most, Robbie Harris. And I'm Brian Bandy. And here's what's going on at BHS. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Hello, BHS, and thanks for watching BHS TV. Today's Friday the 13th. I'm Robbie Harris. And I'm Brian Bandy. Here's what's going on at BHS. And BHS TV would like everyone to wish Mr. Arnold a happy birthday. Prom 2018 Hearts Are Wild is just around the corner. The day for this year's prom is Saturday, May 5th, and will take place downtown at the Indiana Roof Ballroom. Tickets are $40 each, and if you are planning to invite a guest who does not attend BHS, you must complete and submit a guest form before May 4th. You can pick up your form from your team office or from Mrs. Clinton or Mr. Bain. Tickets will be sold from April 26th to May 4th at lunch. Applications for Chainlink Senate are available in Mrs. Bess's room, Senior Academy 205, and Ms. Boffman's room, C105. Applications are due back by today. Don't miss this chance to represent your class for the upcoming school year. On April 21st, the students in the Brownsburg High School HOSA Club will be hosting the John Crone Memorial 5K Run Walk in remembrance of BHS Social Studies teacher Don Crone's late husband. Proceeds from the event are donated to Summit for Soldiers, which is an organization that raises awareness for PTSD and suicide among veterans by providing community and peer-to-peer -peer support as well as outdoor adventure therapy such as rock climbing. BHS is producing Radium Girls, a heartfelt drama that will leave you in tears. Radium Girls is set in the 1920s where radium was in high demand. Grace Fryer worked in a watchdog factory that used radium paint. As Grace falls mysteriously ill, radium seems to be the culprit. Grace fights for her life as she seeks justice from the radium company itself. See Grace's journey April 14th through the 22nd in the BHS Studio Theater. Tickets are on sale now for $12. Go to the BHS Theater website for ticket sales and more information. The Brownsburg High School Color Guard training sessions have begun. They will be held every Thursday from 6 to 9 p.m. in the main gym. No color guard or dance experience is necessary. Just wear all black clothing suitable for dance and equipment will be supplied at rehearsal. BHS TV's William Higgins caught up with some students to see how they feel about Friday the 13th. Friday, the start of the weekend, the best day of the week for most people. Some of the best days are Fridays. Black Fridays, you get the best deals for everyone. And other Fridays, there's a lot of parties. But there is one Friday that some people are always a little suspicious of Friday the 13th one of the most suspicious days in, in the year so I went around the school to see what people think of Friday the 13th Kyla what do you know about Friday the 13th it's a very scary day and I'm pretty sure like people think you get like bad luck on Friday the 13th I'm pretty sure right Friday the 13th is basically a day of just like all bad luck and everything so it's also a movie with a guy who loves his mom, so he put on a mask to contain his love. Stay safe out there. Friday the 13th, bad things could happen. Everybody, don't walk under a ladder. Stay, stay clear of black cats. Don't open an umbrella indoors. Don't step on a crack. You'll break your Mommy's mother's back. <laughs> Some people say it's just the movies. Other people say it's just scary. Here's the real reason why Friday the 13th is so superstitious. Many tragedies have happened on Friday the 13th. The German bombing of Buckingham Place back in 1940 and the death of Tupac Shakur in 1996. Back in 1307, King Philip IX of France arrested hundreds of Templar Knights for their money. He had them imprisoned with lies and killed many of them on false allegations. This was the birth of Friday the 13th. Great story. Now it's time for sports. Hey Ashlyn, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, there's a lot going on with BHS Athletics this time of the year. Let's start things off with the girls tennis team who took on Fishers on Wednesday. The varsity won 4-1. Haley Blood and Ellie Hughes executed phenomenal game plans to secure wins. Number one doubles Caitlin Preda and Peyton Haygood commanded a very dominant win. Lily House and Grace Suter also captured a steady straight setter. The JV team rocked the house with a 10 to 1 score. Congrats to all the ladies who secured victories in that match. Yesterday, the ladies took on 4th ranked Center Grove and lost a well-played match 4 to 1. 
The number one doubles team of Caitlin Preda and Peyton Haygood earned the lone point in a solid straight set victory. The JV team shut out the Trojans 6-0 to remain undefeated. Isabel Roberts won both of her singles matches in dominating fashion. Heidi Dorman and Sophie Neighborhouse teamed up for two victories at the number one double spot. The Bulldogs will be hosting an invitational this Saturday. Good luck. The boys golf team also got their season underway last night. In a three-way match with Hamilton Southeastern and Park Tudor, both stanked ranked teams, the Dogs finished second, shooting a 174. The low score was carded by Zach Byers with a 42, followed by Alex Smith with a 43. The Dogs will be back in action Saturday at the Danville Invitational. The softball teams hosted top-ranked Center Grove last night as well. The varsity fought hard, but the Trojans were a little too much for the Dogs. Mackenzie Bedrick led them going 2-4-4 four four with an RBI. Kylie Vaught went 2 for 3. The varsity will compete in the county tournament at Plainfield tomorrow. Good luck. The JV Purple team avenged one of their two losses from last season with a 7 to 6 win in extra innings. After trailing in both the bottom of the 7th and 8th innings, the ladies scored 3 runs to secure the win in the 8th. Ciara Castile went for 5 for 5 with 3 runs scored and 2 steals. Tori Breckler went 4 for 5 with 3 doubles and 3 RBI including the game winning hit. Nice job ladies. The JV baseball team traveled to Columbus East on Wednesday with two outs in the top of the second inning. The Dogs scored five runs on five hits and never looked back, winning 11-1 to in five innings. Offensively, it was a total team effort as the team had ten hits, including four doubles. And congrats to the freshman baseball team who defeated Avon 19-3 last night. There will be a call-out meeting today for anyone interested in being a football manager for the 2018 season in room D102 at 3. If you have any questions, see Coach Thompson. And don't forget about the Dream Team Wrestling Classic tomorrow night in the Varsity Fieldhouse. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Ashlyn. Now it's time for your weekend weather forecast with Dia. Hey, Dia, what do you have for us? Hey, guys, we're finally seeing some spring-like temperatures. Today will be partly cloudy with just some high wind, but we can hit up to the 70s at 71 degrees. Tomorrow we can hit the 70s again, but we'll probably see some thunderstorms and in the morning. And on Sunday we will hit a high around 52 degrees and we'll be partly cloudy most of the day. Enjoy your weekend everyone. Back over to you guys. Thanks Dia. And that's all we have for you today BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, stay safe, and we'll see you on Monday.